In this video, we're going to be showing you one of the most underrated plays in Trips Tight End in Madden 22. It's a completely different playbook than a lot of people are running with the Trips Tight End formation. But I'm going to propose to you today that you might consider switching to this playbook for how powerful this play really is. We've got a great setup for you today. I'm going to play X Spot in the Trips Tight End formation in the Detroit Lions playbook. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. It just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Another thing I wanted to quickly point out to you is if you want to get my full Trips Tight End ebook, all of my ebooks are accessible via my Patreon membership. For just $10 a month, you're going to be able to unlock all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. We've got about 20 uh, ebooks over there right now. Also, you're going to be able to get access to all of those updates that we release every single week. We basically are breaking down how the meta is shifting, different little tricks and, ta and tactics uh, that you need to be knowing so that you can stay current with all of our ebooks. So if you want to check that out again, it's only ten dollars a month. Get you access to all the ebooks and any new ebooks or new updates that we release while your membership is active. Let's talk about today the play X spot uh, trips tied in in the Detroit playbook. Alright guys, so I got X spot up here. In this play, can be ran in a variety of different ways. I'm going to give you two today, and we might give you two later on today. But what you're going to see right here, the first way that I like to run this is a scissors action. And what I mean by a scissors action is we're going to put the number one receiver on the outside on a skinny post, and then with the running back, typically what I'll do with this play, uh, just because of the way pressure is in this game is you could block your tight end or if you wanted to send five out i like to um, either ghost my running back or in my running back and then drag the inside slot so you see we have a little mesh concept we got a little scissors action and what you're going to see here is this corner a lot of people don't expect this because most of the corner routes and trips whoops uh, most of the corner routes and trips come from the inside slot they don't come from the outside slot this is one of the main reasons as to why I think this could be um, a very valuable uh, concept. There you see a little bit better of a throw. As you can see, what happens is the zones are going to get massively, and I mean massively, sucked in. And um, it's going to open up a massive void where you're going to be able to hit it. So that's cover four. Let me show you cover three real quick. Cover three is going to get jammed, but off of the jam, he's going to get into a great spot. You see he gets about at that 30-yard threshold, too. Whereas if I were to just put him on a hot route master corner route, I want to show you one thing real quick. Let's say I just put him on a hot route master uh, corner. What you're going to notice is that the corner is going to go about 20 yards as opposed to 30. We're talking about a 10-yard difference in terms of how deep that route can get against you know kind of your standard defenses so it's one of the main reasons as to why i think x spot is really a very powerful concept now think of tampa 2 what you really have a benefit of with this with this concept here is you'll see your corner route is open as you can see right there you get a little rub action on the cloud and it does get open but another thing that's going to get open for you if they're going to run uh tampa 2 let's say they have 30 yard clouds and they're running a little cover two mabel type of concept uh, what you're going to notice is that the skinny post over the top now becomes a great option for your quarterback so you see here got a little mesh underneath and then as you can see that thing right there oh no, he got randomly matched let me show you that one more time um it'll typically be beat, beat uh, cover two i'm going to show it kind of like it would be if they were using the zone drops uh, if they're using the zone drops it does defend a little bit differently than if they're not so anyways, let's take a look at the coverage. Got a little mesh underneath. I love the little mesh underneath. I think it's great. Um, and then you have that, that deep bomb uh, over the top, as you can see. Making a couple of bad pass leads today, um, but we'll show it to you one more time. So we've got that nice skinny post over the top. I'm going to cover the, the mesh uh, underneath here in just a second. So again, typically what this is going to mean is that they're going to be running, especially if people are running a cover two, typically speaking, that's going to mean that they're going to be in some type of uh, zone drop. So we'll show you what that looks like. So again, on the top here, and this is kind of what that looks like. So you'll see he'll split these safeties, pass lead that to the right and up. And you see now we're able to beat that cover two to get that proper pass lead. Well, again, you want to pass it that up and to the right. You don't just want to pass it up, um, otherwise you won't get that open. 
let's talk about man coverage uh, here for a second. So if they were man to man, uh, a lot of times you're gonna see some type of little cover one style robber. You've got some really good options. The first one is this quarter. When he cuts, you see he does beat the man to the sideline. That's actually fairly consistent. Um, let me show you one more time here, but this time I'm gonna press him. I don't know if I pressed him on the last time. But if they if they press, it's, it's not always open, but you do wanna take a look here. So if, see how he gets that jam, and then you see he's covered, but your skinny post on the right side is now ran past the third. And again, the third is, in my opinion, the middle third is one of the worst zones in the game because of the stuff like what I just showed you. Now, another thing that we can do to beat main coverage, and this is where our mesh really comes in handy because it forces this defender to have to make a decision. Am I gonna cover the middle deep or am I gonna cover the underneath mesh? In this scenario, he's gonna choose to cover the deep bomb. So now we can look to the right and low ball that tight end or we can hit that drag coming over the over the corner, or we can hit the running back on the end um, with this. So again, I'll show you just kind of a basic coverage. But take a look, this running back has been cooking man all year. It's gonna be wide open for you, especially if you have a good route running running back. Most of you probably do. And then of course your drag. Um, this drag is so good. Most people are sleeping on drags this year um, from the slot, drags from the slot are very effective against man coverage. So that is X spot against cover three, cover four, uh, cover two, and now we're gonna show you it against match. Now match coverage, you'll see right here, um, it defends that corner route significantly better. Match coverage is probably the best coverage in the game for defending the corner route um, to, you know, to your guy. But what you're gonna notice is if it is a true match, you're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one over the top. Your drag should be open right there. And then your uh, tight end route should be open. So if it's truly match, you're gonna get off of the corner. And you're gonna go right there. That's an easy read for match. Quarter flat zones out of match, whether it be palms, whether it be cover six, whether it be, it doesn't matter. The, the quarter flat zone is not very good. So you can just attack that all day long um, against the match coverage. It's basically like, it's, it, in a way, it's kind of like man-to-man -man in terms of the way it's going to practically play out. Now, I told you I wanted to give you a secondary setup. Now, this setup is designed, it's actually a short side setup. And this is one of the other reasons why I really like this in particular route. What we're going to do is we're going to motion this slot receiver, Scotty Miller, to the left side of the screen. That's going to put him into motion to the right, though, and put him in this little special spot right here. From there, I love to smart route this route. As you can see, it goes really, really deep down the field. Um, and then we're going to take Mike Evans on the outside and throw him on a uh, deep streak. And then what I like to do, because of the type of, um, you're going to need a little bit extra time, I'm going to block my tight end. I'm going to put uh, Godwin on a slant, and I'm going to put the running back on either a little um, I'm gonna put the running back on either a ghost or an in route or an out route okay so any of those three routes is fine and what you're gonna see here is that this post if you watch how deep this runs you pass that up it's going to turn into curl flat on the left side and that's why I like it it's a short side setup and yet it's still going to attack those 30 yard cloud flats uh, all the way across the formation so again show it to you one more time here you do something like this if they go to cover three it's not gonna matter but again like I said it's gonna get over the top of all the zone drops just like verticals um, and what you'll see passing that up and you see look how deep that gets that's a massive massive dot over the top for a huge huge game that's one of the main reasons why this is one of my favorite plays in the game and I would make an argument that this could be more important then the 45 quick base out of it because you still have the inside zone and you still have the counter um, and the in the RPO you just don't have quick base so you know that's just something you have to make your own decision but this route right here I think is incredible um, you could if you wanted to use this little hitch underneath you certainly could so let's say you wanted to use the hitch right there and then maybe you wanted to um, you know take the running back and just put him on a traditional wheel route um, that's fine this little hitch is really good it's another route that is very powerful uh, but 
look how deep this gets. You see how deep that gets? That's huge. So um, it's going to be me against its own. It's it's one of the better routes in the game. And like I said, if they blitz you, you have you have protection. So you have time to be able to find your guy. I like the slant post combo um, with the with Miller and Godwin, and then running the fade on the outside, and then like I said, put a little out route right there. So if they blitz you out of man, you got the running back. You also got the slant that's wide open. I don't know why I got crazy screamed out right there. I think I got shedded. Let me show it to you one more time. So again, if they send if they send five, um, if they send five at you, like I said, your running back should be open. I mean, every route should be open against man. But you see here, just take your running back route. Look how good that is against man. 15 yards. So I, I'm I'm honestly feeling like messing around with the Lions playbook just because of how powerful I think this this uh, this in particular route is and what it can do against zone coverage, in particularly label coverage. This also allows you, if you really want to, you can max protect this. So I can block my running back and block my tight end. See, it looks like this. Now I'm gonna pick up every blitz of the game and you'll see right here, I got a lot of time to be able to try to hit that route. Just gotta know that time I messed up a little bit, but the beauty of the concept, like I said, is it beats every coverage in the game. You can also motion him all the way to the outside here. So if I motion him to the right, He's gonna go all the way to the outside. I wanna show you one thing real quick. The reason I don't like to necessarily do that is because if I motion him all the way to the outside, watch what happens here. He's actually gonna stop running in the middle of the field. He actually keeps running all the way to the sideline. But um, I just find there's a little bit of inconsistency with that. He doesn't always run all the way. And that's the big thing with this offense. You wanna have that post be able to run all the way across the field, but at the same time, you want that post to be able to get over the top of every zone drop in the game. It's what makes this such a good route. And it's what makes this offense so powerful because they can't run zone drops on it. Let's we'll see if he keeps running here. Looks like he's going to. So, I mean, you could go ahead and motion him all the way over the right too. There's another setup for you. Let me give you one last one before we go while I'm thinking about it off the top of my head. Put the tight end on a crosser. Put circle on a drag. Put the running back on a wheel. And put the, the outside guy on a uh, streak. Actually, with circle, you want to put him on a zig. This was... A very good setup last year and it's also a very good setup this year same exact thing same exact thing and you see how deep that post gets on the field so this is a great play and i think that there's definitely validity to suggesting that this might be um every bit as valuable as quick base out of the new england patriots playbook for those trips today guys i know that i'm personally gonna shift over to detroit for a while i don't really run the ball to be honest with you so um to me having an xbox could be more valuable so I want to thank you for watching this video. Before you take off, I wanted to quickly point out something uh, to you. If you're new to the channel, if you haven't joined our Patreon membership, I hope that you will. Um, the reason why is because the Patreon membership is the best way to get better at this game. Literally overnight, you're going to get access to 20 offensive and defensive ebooks. You're also going to get access to um, exclusive, several exclusive tips, exclusive updates that we do every single week, and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. If you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description that you can click on. It'll take you over to the website, and you can sign up today. Last thing I wanted to also mention real quickly is we have started a Discord for you guys to be able to ask your questions or, or uh, be able to just kind of stay up to date with the channel and stay up to date with everything that's going on on my community side. And then last but not least, if you want to join our twitch.tv stream, I've been streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. My link is down in the description if you want to go hit the uh, channel with the follow. We greatly appreciate it. You can come watch me play live. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link down below.